In this episode we traveled from Poland to Olborg in Denmark, a town known as the capital of North Jutland. We were stopped at the border, surprised by the giant amount of snow. That's not guaranteed in Denmark. A crazy blizzard paralyzed Olborg. And we wouldn't be ourselves if we didn't give you a full tour of this amazing town. Join us on this adventure and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our new content. They, they stop it's like if you won't have the uh, if you have Danish number place they, they they probably will like let you go and here probably they will tell us to go to the right I'm pretty sure hello Yeah. Har I lige nu så? Olbo. Olbo. Ja, så er det alligevel en god bid stadigvæk. Ja, det er rigtigt. Det er så fint. Super. Tak. 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 Tak.
two dozen staff in Denmark were left stranded in an IKEA store after a snowstorm and were invited to sleep in the beds that were on display. Hop in, hop in! Hop in! Lars, clean my window here, please. My window here, please. Due to the blizzard, Oborg was completely paralyzed that day. The drive back to the hotel which normally took 20 minutes, took Boogie 2 hours, as he drove through villages hoping he won't get stuck in snow. Record video! Definitely not. Welcome to Olborg. It's lovely. The town of many faces. We love it in here. We love it in here. Do we love it here? You dumbasses. Yeah. Pretty intense here. People don't know what to do. Doors are locked, cars are blocked. It's windy, but freaking beautiful. The cars are full of snow. 20 centimeters so far. It's amazing! Crazy. Located in the center of Oldborg, nearby shopping areas, restaurants and cafes, Yamfru Anna Gel is the longest street in Denmark that consists entirely of bars and clubs. We didn't have much time in Oldborg, so despite the blizzard we decided to visit our favorite party place from back in the day, the Old Irish Pub. And in case you didn't know, we used to live in Oldborg for several years.
typically, the snow melted away as fast as it appeared, but the Christmas spirit was still in the air. shopping center, one of the oldest ones. Check it out. At Selling, you will find men's and women's clothing, oftentimes at awesome discounts, designer kitchenware, and much much more. Back in the day, we shopped here on weekends as a form of entertainment. Don't judge, wink wink. Selling department store uses over 200,000 Lego bricks to make up the annual Christmas display of Olborg's landmarks. We must admit, it does make an impression. Let's have a coffee with the... Uh... Joey and Chandler and Phoebe uh, and... <laughs> and Ross. And Ross, Rachel. And Monica. <laughs> cool. Check it out. Well, it's a shame they don't have a sofa here. at night pretty impressive paradox is like it's always in the evening that wind actually stops so actually evenings in Alborg are sometimes more pleasant than during the daytime Nordcraft is a symbol of Olborg's transformation from an industrial city to a city with a broad cultural scene It is a former power plant that nowadays houses a cinema, a gym, an Italian restaurant, a concert hall, a theater and so much more. Scroen is a concert and stand-up venue that also arranges outdoor events in Alborg. Your ticket, miss, please. I don't have a sock, but, um... Bobby. Okay. You might think this is Sonic and this is Jim Carrey, but no, it's not. It's Queen Machine from Denmark.
Let's move on to the house of music. Created by the internationally renowned architectural firm Coop Himmelblau, Musikens Hoos is one of the most impressive landmarks of Olborg, which houses four concert halls, five stages, a restaurant, and the Olborg Symphony Orchestra. Trust us when we say, concerts here are truly unforgettable. See for yourself. So it's our last day here in Denmark. We decided to do some shopping before we leave, bring some gifts to our friends, some Danish beers, some stuff that we will be missing from Denmark when we're back in Poland. And uh, take care. And <laughs> take care. <laughs> Shall we get one? The taste of Denmark. I think we have to get one. something to remember you by Denmark. Mmm, mmm, Danish pastry. Two gifts for someone. These I used to bake at school when I was a kid. I used to live in Denmark. Oh, I remember this one. That used to be my breakfast when I was a kid. You want to take it full sugar bowl? No, I don't want it. It just looks cool. The box is just like you know. It's th this one as well. Look at this. Yay, Coco Pops! Breakfast of champions. Definitely not. More gifts. Boogie coming to Poland. Bearing gifts. Everybody gets a beer. Okay, cool. Luxus soda van. <laughs> Olborg has its own brand of Danish Akvavit, a Scandinavian spirit distilled from potatoes or grains also known as schnapps. It is the national spirit of Sweden, Norway and Denmark. If you don't like fennel or cumin in your Christmas drink, you'd better think twice before you try it. Are we sure? We don't need anything more? Yes, I think we're done. How about Haribo? Oh, yeah, that's that German. German. Ah, okay. Remember how we told you about the wind in Olborg? Enjoy! Wink wink! Utzon Center in Olborg was the last building to be designed by Jorn Utzon, the architect behind the Sydney Opera House. We've been there too, but that's for another episode. Quite sure at what time the bridge is opening. I'm gonna go and check it out. The bridge opens for boats every hour on the hour. The time of the next opening is shown on a display on the bridge. It can be opened through the night at no cost if ordered before 6 p.m. There's an outdoor swimming pool over here. The water must be freezing cold, but apparently Danes will enjoy it anyway. In Denmark, I used to have a pretty strong running routine. Almost every morning at sunrise, I was running here to the harbor and back. Check out how it looks in daylight.
At the opposite shore there's a wooden shelter where we camped at one time. It was a pretty amazing experience so we continued to explore the locations of other shelters like that one, which are scattered literally everywhere in Denmark, but that's also for another episode. Sitting here. Ooh! Our dinner is getting ready. It's raining, but it does not matter. Always remember Hakuna Matata. Located in Kildaparken, there's a special place called the Park of Music. Since 1987, music stars from all over the world have been commemorating their visits in Olborg by planting a tree. Sir Cliff Richard was the first artist to have the honor. Some of the trees are accompanied by music activated by pressing a button at the foot of the tree. Looks like someone over here isn't a fan of Katie Melua. Sorry Katie. Look at this cute place with all the cute stuff over here. I have the defender. You want the defender? Yeah, it's because. It's an IPA. Oh, do, I don't like IPA. Uh, okay. Do you know what? This one, right? Yeah, uh, it's like a vice This beer. yellow one. Defender. Didn't you just say you didn't like IPAs? I know, but I like the name. So. Okay. <laughs> Safe. Do you love it? It's amazing. What did you get in the end? Uh, some colorful uh, looking beer. Well, I've got the Defender. I hope that's the one I'm drinking because both glasses look the same. Can I just say something you wish? I wish I got the Defender? Ah, yes. uh, the car. <laughs> well, that's the only reason why I chose that beer. Welcome to Denmark, guys. Cheers! Panic at the disco. To wrap up our stay in Denmark. How do you feel? It's good to be back, but uh, I'm not sad I have to leave. Okay, so it was like a cool it was sentimental a, it, it, it trip. It was a cool uh, down the memory lane kind of thing. Yeah, home mm. awaits. Definitely come here. You should definitely come here and yeah, check it out. Yeah, yeah. Denmark is amazing. To go for a trip over here for a couple of days, that's for sure an amazing kind of experience and we totally recommend it.